the Bernoulli's theorem states that as we move along a streamline, the sum of the pressure, the kinetic energy per unit volume and the potential energy per unit volume remains a constant. We need to derive the Euler's equation for steady flow of an ideal fluid along a streamline, which is a relation between the velocity, pressure and density of a moving fluid. Integration of that equation gives us the Bernoulli's equation. To derive this, we need to assume that the fluid is homogeneous and incompressible. The flow is continuous, steady and along the streamline. Oh, imagine a fluid passing through the pipe from X to Y. Let's take a very, very small infinitesimal part of this fluid whose length is dl and area of cross section is dA. Even though the fluid part is so small, there will be a small pressure difference between the ends, which is why the fluid is moving. On taking a closer look, the forces that are acting on this element are the force due to pressure. We know that for pressure is force per unit area, so the force due to pressure will be pressure times the area, which is P into dA in this end and P plus dP times dA over there. And we can see that this uh, fluid element has a weight W equal to mg. And if we resolve this weight into its components, the sign component of weight has nothing to do with the flow and the cos component of, of the weight is opposing the flow. So we denote that by Fg, which is the force due to gravity. So there you go. Force due to pressure, Fp, is Pda minus P plus dPdA. And force due to gravity is mg cos theta. We know that mass is density into volume, which is rho into area times the length, which gives us the volume. Now, if we define cos theta to this, to this triangle, the adjacent side is to this angle is dy over the hypotenuse, which is dl substituting cos theta and mass in the gravity equation we get force due to gravity as rho dA g into dy. Another force called the shearing force dFs is exerted by the adjacent part of the adjacent fluid particles. So the net force will be equal to the force due to pressure, the force due to gravity and the force exerted by the adjacent fluid particles. And we know that acceleration is given by the rate of change of velocity, which can further be written as dl over dt into dv over dl by chain rule. And the rate of change of length is velocity again. So acceleration can also be written as v into dv over dl. From Newton's second law of motion, we have F is equal to ma, substituting the net force and the mass times the acceleration we get rho dA V into dV on the right hand side. By dividing the above equation by negative rho dA G, we get this equation. Here, the term dFs over rho dA G is called the lost head and is denoted by dHL. The, this term represents the resistance to flow in the length dl and is a measure of energy loss due to flow but for an ideal fluid viscosity is zero so dhl becomes zero and we get the euler's equation for the fluid flow on integrating this euler's equation we get the bernoulli's equation in the meanwhile the y is the height from the reference level which can be replaced by h which gives us P1 over rho plus V1 square over 2 plus H1G is equal to P2 over rho plus V2 square over 2 plus H2G. Or P over rho plus V square over 2 plus HG is equal to a constant. Now this equation is called the Bernoulli's equation and is only applicable for steady, non-viscous and incompressible flow of a fluid.